but financial health does not exist in a vacuum. It is inextricably linked to the real economy. Financial health can drive good personal health and education outcomes as well as reduce poverty and inequalities. You know, the moment you go beyond your standard metrics of number of accounts, uh, number of loans and mobile phone penetration, you'd uncover a lot of deeper issues uh, and then fault lines that people face underneath these numbers. Generally, we can agree on, uh, one, the individual should have sufficient money to meet their daily needs. They need to have the freedom to be able to make financial choices. And of course, they need to feel financially secure for the future. When we think of financial health and its breadth, you know, this question of, you know, whose responsibility is it is clearly a bit of a provocative position because there's a lot of people involved in constructing that environment. Financial health means when one's day-to-day -day systems is able to help you build resilience and pursue opportunities. So I think to me, financial health means knowing that I have enough if I don't earn, I can still sustain and having the, the basic financial products to safeguard my future uh, earnings and future interests as well. 